All right, so we have that out of the way. We've seen how to run files using the source command. And then we actually did that with the sample data that I gave you. Now we actually dive into the meat of the section, which is all about string functions. And the first thing I want to show you is that if you go to Google and we type in MySQL string functions, whoops, <laughs> string functions, excuse that, uh, and we hit enter here, you can see I've already clicked on this link, the MySQL reference manual string functions. I have to say I'm not a huge fan of the documentation of MySQL. For one thing, I think it's kind of ugly um, and looks dated, uh, but it does have all of the information you need. I just don't really like how it's presented. But if you, if you look at this giant list here, these are all string functions that we can use. And a lot of them are very, very specific. I'm gonna show you some of the more, uh, f well, first of all, the useful ones, and then a couple just fun ones, and that we'll be able to combine together for some good exercises. But we're not gonna take a look at most of these. Most people, don't even know that these are here. Uh, I'd say that's a generalization, but in my experience working with MySQL and people who work with MySQL, you use maybe five of these um, on a regular basis. And then occasionally you might need to do something like, hey, is there a way of doing X? Let me go check on the documentation. And oh, look, there is a way of doing that, perfect. Um, or, oh no, there's not a way, great. How, what am I gonna do next? So I just want to show you that this is here. And the first one that we're actually going to take a look at is called concat. So what it will do is combine pieces of data, combine strings. So here's an example using this book data. Remember that we have author first name and author last name. And there are valid reasons for separating that data. Sometimes, I mean, you might want to sort uh, books by last name. And sometimes you may only want the last name uh, in certain contexts, you might not want the first name. It's not a great example, but there are reasons that you would separate this out. Just like when you're filling out a form um, online, you're signing up for a site, they usually don't just ask you for your full name. They ask you for a first and last name. But then if they have those pieces of information, it's pretty easy to combine them. So that's what we're going to see now. How do we combine these two and get something that says Jhumpa Lahiri or Neil Gaiman? or in this case, Foster Wallace as the last name, which I'm actually not sure if that qualifies as a last name exactly, but David Foster Wallace, how do we combine that? How do we get that? And the answer is we use concat. So let me just first show you what we have right now. We'll do a select author, F name, author, L name from books. And that's what we get here. Just what I had printed out uh, in the slides. So what we want, again, is to combine them. But we'll take some baby steps. And yep, here's a slide. I totally got ahead of myself. What if I want full names? So concat. The way that concat works is that we pass in multiple arguments or pieces of data, and it will combine them. So whatever we give it, in this case, I mean, if you had columns named x, y, and z, this would work. But it's really just supposed to be an example. Uh, more specifically, what you can do are things like this concat a column name with another column. So that's what we'll work on. We're going to do first name or author F name and author L name and combine them together. And if we do this right here, so concat author F name, author L name, what it will actually do is just slam them together, put them exactly together, concatenate them. So there's no space in between. So we get Dave Eggers, Jhumpa Lahiri. So there's no, you know, that's not exactly what we want. Maybe we want a comma. Maybe we want last name, comma, first name, or maybe we want first name, space, last name. So there's a way of doing that. When we can cat, we can pass in a column name and then some other text and then another column name. And if we wanted more text and we can keep going on and on and on and it will concatenate everything. So to add a space, it's pretty simple. Author, first name, comma, and then a space, comma, author, L name. And that will give us Dave Eggers and Jhumpa Lahiri. So now that I've shown you in the slides, let's take a look. And the first thing I'll show is that often people expect they can just come in here and, and just type concat. Uh, but if I just do concat, well, author F name, comma, author L name, there's a problem. Hopefully you can identify what the problem is. If I hit enter, this is not valid syntax. First of all, 
it doesn't know what table. What, what if we have multiple tables? How, where's author F name coming from and author L name? And second of all, we have to select. So we can't just run these willy nilly. <laughs> we can't just run them on their own. We need to run them as a select. So select concat. And then in here, I'm actually gonna start with something simple. I'm not gonna use columns. I'm gonna use text. So I'll just put something like hello, comma, world. So this is very trivial, but if I just do this, select concat hello world and I hit enter, you can see it does it for me. And it just gives me hello world, combines these two things. So I could do the same thing and add a space. And rather than a space, let's do dots so it's easier to see. And we need a comma, a lot of punctuation going on. Select concat hello comma dot 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 comma world. It just shoves them all together and we get hello dot 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 world. So that's how we can do it with just uh, text, which you probably won't be doing. You'll be doing things like this. Select and then concat a column like author F name and then a space and then author L name from books. So let's try it. We can copy it now. Go over here and paste it. Select and what it will do when we hit enter is just make a new column for us or in our results it doesn't change our initial data just to be clear um, our data looks the same in the database this is purely about printing it out but we have this new thing up here with this horrible title concat author f name comma space comma author l name but then in here we have the data that we're looking for we have Jhumpa Lahiri we have Patty Smith Raymond Carver and so on so that's really useful to combine data like that now, if we want to get a little fancier, let's rename it. So let's give it an as, and we'll just say as full name, just like that. And now I get full name up here, Jhumpa Lahiri, Neil Gaiman, and so on. So that's concat. I'll show you a couple more examples um, just to show you how these string functions work. You don't have to just do one at a time. So we could do something like this. Select, and we'll do author first name just on its own, author f name as first name. Let's just do first actually, as first, comma, author l name as last, and then we'll have a concat author, and let's do it on a new line just because it gets a little messy here, concat author f name so this is what we've already seen with a space comma author l name as and we'll call it full so we'll, we'll have three different things printed out the first name under the title first author l name as last and then the full name combined using concat as full so then we need to say from where from books and now i hit enter and I get this pretty little table, first, last, and full. So what I want to show is that you don't have to use it in isolation. You can combine it with other things. And you can, and we'll see this as we go. We're not going to just use concat. Um, and you don't have to just use one concat per select. You could have multiple if we wanted to. You know, I could have full name, and then I could have full names, uh, comma separated instead. And if I want to do that, you can probably figure this out. But rather than just having a space there, I'll just put a comma. And now I get Jumpa comma Lahiri. All right. So one more thing about concat is that there's something called concat WS, which stands for concat with separator. So there might be times where you're concatenating, concatenating multiple fields, multiple things together with the same symbol or piece of data stuck in between them. So there's a shortcut for that. So if I wanted to have title dash author F name dash author last name, let's not debate why, but if I wanted to, I could do something like this, select concat and we have author, or actually we started with title, comma, and then we wanted to dash and then author F name, comma, and then another dash, comma, author L name, just like that. 
So it's kind of a lot of re uh, repetitive typing, especially if we have more items that we're combining. But if I just do this here from books, you see it does what you expect. It puts the title dash first dash last. But we can use concat ws, and it looks like this. So it switches things around a bit. The first thing that we pass in is what we want the separator to be. So in this case, a dash with a space on either side. And it will go ahead and then insert that in between every other thing we pass in. So we'll have title dash author first name dash author last name. So now if I paste that in, you can see we get the same result, although I added spaces here. But it's the same idea. It's sandwiched every time. Um, so just worth noting, if you ever are in a situation where you're combining lots of data in the same manner, you can use concat ws to save you typing this or whatever your symbol is over and over. So that's our first string function we saw, concat and concat ws. And what they do is concatenate or shove together, smash together strings.